Hello there, welcome to yet another edition with the consultee. So today we'll be talking about small YouTuber problems in Nigeria. You see, the issue of YouTube, you know, coming onto YouTube, starting your YouTube is really very huge. A lot of people will say it's so easy. It's not easy to, uh, you know, create content on YouTube. You can, you know, you might have the ideas, you know, know what you want to shoot, have the resource, but at the end of the day, you can't, you know, put them into a video. It's very easy to, I would say, write you know create content writing content than you know videoing you know creating a video content i would say my experience so far is that youtube is a really difficult place it's a whole new ball game altogether like when i started on youtube i didn't know jack yes i've been coming on youtube and all of that but Coming on YouTube, I didn't know that it, you know, it will be so difficult. There are a lot of limitations and, and, you know, things that will make you wake up one day and you know what, I'm not doing, I'm not, you know, I'm not um, producing content on YouTube. I give up. So many times I've woken up and I'm like, you know what, I'm not doing YouTube anymore. I'm just tired. I'm frustrated. Do you know how long it took me to, to sit in front of this camera today? It has taken me three days to research and walk up this content it's that bad i'm saying it is bad because at the end of the day i'm just going to I'm, I'm looking forward to knowing how just how many views i will get from this video you know so youtube youtube is difficult youtube is another place altogether and then small youtubers have a lot of problems are facing a lot of problems in nigeria why do i say so because when i upload this video i would spend i would use data data is difficult in nigeria you just buy data right now and at the next minute they're telling you you, you won't even be able to to download or upload anything or even do anything with the data because the data has, has been exhausted and you're wondering four gig five gig nine gig even if it's a hundred gig it's not working it's not working here those abroad are enjoying because i think maybe they have unlimited data or they can yeah i don't know data i mean, I mean internet connectivity is fast so before you say jack robinson everything has been uploaded and you know it's all done but here i sometimes i spend up to six seven hours uploading one video just one video and at the end of the day i'm being told that the data has been exhausted and i have to renew my subscription yet once again to upload that same video and it will not continue like a snail you know at a snail speed before it you know it, it, it is done uploading it's really frustrating i don't even know what to do the other day a friend of mine that works at mtn told me that there's a new data uh, plan or something like that to ease you know for those who use the internet um, or use a lot of data like uh, you buy one and then they double it to that amount that you've bought just let, let's just say you're buying 4.5 gig so they're giving you 4.5 gig for free and i don't even want to go through my phone now to go you know search to know how much data i have left i just subscribed the day before yesterday and i won't be surprised i won't be shocked if they tell me i just have one gig left is that bad nine gig what happened you know so it's it's when you look at those things you just wonder how you're going to manage how you're going to um continue so well whereby huge you know big youtubers will say how often do you post in a week how often do you post in a week it's not the strength to post it's not the it's not the time to post is how often can you afford to buy data in nigeria some youtubers most youtubers don't have the money to cultivate i'll just say you know starting on youtube you must you know have your job youtube youtube you know being a youtuber should be a side hustle not even a hustle a side hobby because if you put it as the main base for you know i want to grow right now you just die of worry of anxiety frustration you'll be so frustrated there oh jesus christ so you know the next problem that i am facing because i'm a small youtuber is gadgets some people will say content is key yeah content is king or key whatever you have content but listen no one is going to click on your cd video if your video is not you know clear sharp and all those people telling you you know i started small i started small for crying out loud we are not seeing those videos where they started small 
uh, what, 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 uh, how do you explain it now? I will not be seeing a video of a big YouTuber when he started small. The, the, the recommended post that YouTube is pushing to your face are those, you know, videos that they that they made when they've arrived, when they had arrived. So you're seeing one thousand and something, uh, one hundred and something thousand views, and all those people that keep saying, "Oh, don't worry, just start small." You even if you're starting small, you still need a good phone. You cannot use a 3310 and to, to, to shoot a video on YouTube. No one is going to click on your video. You need a good gadget, a good phone. Let's just say, let me just start with a phone. You need a good phone to, you know, be able to use the apps to edit, whatever, do whatever it is you want to do. Because if your video is not even looking professional on YouTube, no one is clicking. Where are you going to get the apps on, you know, on a, on, on a, on a small phone? Um, for um, to create your thumbnail to do YouTube studio all those things Sometimes if you use a smaller phone, it will tell you, you don't even have the space on your phone It all boils down to having a good phone because if you don't have a good phone I'm not even going to the extent of a camera right now if you don't have a good phone How are you going to shoot your videos if you don't have the mic like now I have a mic I know what I had to go through. I know the budgeting I had to put, you know, aside. You just say just, just, just all money. In Nigeria, we need money. You know, all those, uh, okay, $15, $20 and all that. When you convert it to Nigerian money, hey, when you convert it to Naira, it's not a joke. And you cannot just keep buying things, buying things, you know, from left, right and center when you have, no, you're not getting anything in return. I'm not even talking about getting monetized. Even if you're seeing your subscribers, your YouTube subscribers, you know, grow, your, your page views and all of that grow, it will be fun. It will be happy. You'll be encouraged to do, you know, even get from your savings. But after your effort and all that, you've gone to go and buy iPhone 10, 11, blah, 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 Samsung notebook, what, 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 what. At the end of the day, you're just getting 20, 20 views. What do you do? You know, so that's the problem. That's the problem. And I don't even know how to circumvent it. You need these gadgets. Okay, the other day I got a ring light. I know how I planned and dreamt and dreamt before I got this ring light. Yes, you understand? I know how I dreamt for my uh, tripod. I know how I, you know, saved for my phone. I'm not using my iPhone right now. I'm using my Android. But then it's a struggle. You need gadgets, you know, uh, Instagram has this unspoken rule. You just know that you need gadgets. If you don't have gadgets, then you're not ready. So, you know, those are the problems that small YouTubers are facing in Nigeria. The next one is, you know, money. You need money. A lot of people have wonderful ideas, have wonderful content that they want to push out, want to give to people. But it takes money. You cannot devote all your time creating videos when you should be outside making money. And at the end of the day, they're telling you that before you start making money on YouTube, you have to go through so many things. And, you know, big YouTubers will come with such money ideas like, oh, there are ways to make money, blah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And how many people will click on your affiliate links when you're a small YouTuber? How many people are going to believe you when you're a small YouTuber and say, okay, I'm using this boy and mic, I'm, I'm using this, I'm using that. Or, okay, click in my description. Okay, the link is in my description box. Click on it and follow. Everybody knows affiliate marketing. Everybody knows all about ClickBank and all that. Why are you going to get your money? So you need a constant source of income in Nigeria before you venture into that YouTube. Because, of course, just, just know that that is not your main source of income. If you do that, you just crash and burn. The next one is, who are you even making this content for? How many people are watching YouTube? Let me tell you, on the street, my own street, down my street now, no one has opened YouTube for, YouTube is just a dormant, a dormant app on their phones. Nobody cares about your YouTube videos. Nobody has time for your YouTube videos. So the percentage of Nigerians who actually go online to use their YouTube, yeah, I don't know, 20% or 30, 40% of Nigerians, and you know, Nigeria is huge, the population is large. Why? Because it all boils down to this data. Nigerians cannot waste their data watching a YouTube video. You understand? If Instagram is taking our data, YouTube is taking, you know, we're complaining about Instagram, you know, killing, ki you know, killing our data, taking all the data. We have to keep renewing data because of Instagram. YouTube is worse. So a lot of people cannot just imagine themselves because they don't need that service. How many people want to just go online to just, you know, watch, watch you do what? 
they're better off just just you know it's it's just like that so nigerians don't watch youtube so how many nigerians in diaspora are we um depending on so the small youtubers that you're talking about so many thousands and upon thousands upon thousands of youtubers are watching those big youtubers you understand we are the ones lending the support to the big youtubers hey and then those nigerians in diaspora and then a few the, the few 20 percent of nigerians that you know um like you know some things have various interests or uh, due to you know their search history so they just go to youtube to learn the how to's and how, as soon as they're done they're just getting out of youtube because hey my data so nigerians don't watch youtube so what are we doing on youtube how are we going to get known on youtube how are we going to grow on youtube these are the problems i'm a small time youtuber who is going to watch my video who is going to come to my channel and get interested in my channel to even subscribe these are the, these are the problems that small youtubers are facing in nigeria right now so the next one is not knowing you know lots of nigerians lots of small youtubers in nigeria do not have the you know the tech they're not techy they don't have time so when they think of okay fine they they are shooting the video now and all of that and then the next thing that you're saying is that they should do what they should do what they should learn how to do what edit their photo using inshot kind master blah 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 eh? what all that stress for one small tiny video that's what will happen a lot of people don't know the you know a lot of people don't care about that they don't want to know so if that video that they are shooting is not the end and then they just upload it why would they be stressing themselves so small youtubers go through a lot they have to learn how to they have to learn how to edit i have to learn how to do this i have to learn how to know which one is a copyright music their background music and which one is not they have to learn the do's and don'ts they have to learn how to grow on on, on youtube and remember that when you when you're a small youtuber virtually all the videos of the how to's of youtube is what you're watching is what you're trying to learn you know you're just stumbling in the dark praying that one day you know what you've been lifted out of this quagmire into the light and you start growing but it's just like it's I'm so unsure that's how i'm feeling right now i don't know that's how i feel right now and that's what i'm trying to share with you so the next issue is seo so the other day not the other day a few weeks ago i subscribed to tube body right and um i just felt that okay fine i'm now on the pro version and all that so all things have been settled i just went there I, I, I kept on looking you see the problem is that all these people that say okay let me give you let me show you how to use this app let me show you how to use that app let me step by step tutorial most of them are not step by step they just keep rumbling up 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 and they don't, don't they don't just give you anything at the end of the day people are just clicking and liking and viewing their this and you're they're getting 200 and something thousand views and all that and at the end of the day you're not learning anything by the time you're going to apply that same thing that made them get those 10,000 subscribers in one month that's nothing they're just wasting your time so where are we going to get a really detailed concise distinct step step by step way of applying to body even to body doesn't even have it real one and then the so-called influencers youtube influencers that say they know how and all of that the techie people they will still not give you so you keep coming back to their channels looking for ways maybe they missed it here maybe they have it in the next video and you're you're just subscribing 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 making everybody grow but yourself and you're learning nothing so you keep you just go back to the app and learn it yourself so everything is do it yourself how are you going to learn the seo the seo is on another level altogether fine i know that every social media you know to grow on every social media platform you know there are things you need to consider and need to learn to grow but youtube is not just uh, the seo is not i spent i spent um i spent 14 hours almost 24 hours with my seo of this particular video now they're saying that okay don't shoot your video before you start doing the seo do the seo everything the title and description what 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 keywords ranking all of that before you shoot the video so that you should tell so you know if the video is viable or not i agree I've, I've done it and I spent 24 hours doing it because I found nothing on YouTube big YouTube all the influencers all saying the same thing and nothing and you're not learning anything from me so I kept on stumbling and stumbling and I've had this 
I've had this tube body for a month. I've had vid IQ body free version. So you know, my my, my page has not my 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 views, my watch hour, nothing has changed. Why? Because I'm applying it the wrong way. Okay, let me apply it the right way by learning. I'm seeing nothing. That's another problem that small YouTubers are facing in Nigeria. Now, the next one is lack of support from, you know, big YouTubers, those ones that have arrived. You know, I think the thing, the, the tradition on YouTube is those who feel that they've arrived, they want you to go through that same thing that they've gone through. You send them DMs, they don't, they, or you send them messages, they don't respond. They don't even talk to you, especially when they come to your page or when they manage to look at you and they just see that you have 58 subscribers. What? And then you're asking for a collaboration. Are you crazy? Is something wrong with you? That, that, you know, that's just it. That's just it. So everyone is, you know what, each man for himself. So if two people come together, that means they have, they are growing on the same level and they have a lot to gain from each other. Apart from that, no big YouTuber is coming down to take up a 100 and something subscriber YouTuber like, you know what, well, let's collaborate. I think you have something. You really do have something up there. You really do have this knowledge, irrespective of your little followers, that I want for us to, to impact, you understand, on our audience together. Nobody is doing that. Everybody just wants to do it. I'm growing on my own. You grow on your own. I, I don't know. I got here on my, my, on my own. I suffered and all that. So you two should suffer. <laughs> well, everyone... Each to his own. The next one is the almighty Nepa. Don't worry. God is alive. Mm -hmm. There's no light. There's no electricity to do what you want to do. Okay? Um, every time, there was this video that I shot. I think it had to do with his um, insight or so. Yeah. Had to do with insight on Instagram. You would notice that as you're watching the video, they took light. Mm, Nepa decided to disgrace themselves, not me. So they took light. I had to put on the rechargeable lamp to show, you know, to shoot, continue shooting the video, which was annoying. But what, what, what am I supposed to do? How long am I supposed to wait? And then if you go and put on the gen at that time, can you imagine the noise, the sounds that that one will bring? And, you know, distort the whole thing that you're trying to do in the first place. So no light. No electricity so that's what nigerian small youtubers are facing okay and this noise pollution the noise pollution is here the last time i think there was this time i was shooting a video and then my neighbor's children were arguing downstairs i almost cried i just i don't know i just started hurrying over the video you know to end the video i was so mad and you can't go and tell them look keep quiet there <laughs> People will call community council for you. But that's what we're facing. I'm not even talking about my neighbor's children anymore. I'm talking about my kids. I'm talking about so many things that can just, you know, make, you know, bring out noise or to distort all your hard work. So where is the road ahead? I'm just seeing everything just looks bleak. But I'm hopeful. As for giving up, I'm not giving up. But I don't know. The, 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 it's the, the challenges are stacked so high. So high against the average Nigerian small YouTuber. Please. I hope I see you next time.